electric fields, gravitational fields, magnetic fields. These are names you probably heard many times, even for those of you that never studied physics. But you may say, what the heck is a field? Well, let's have a look at this together. Having a clear understanding of what is a field is essential in physics. So what is it? A field is a region of space for which each point is associated with a specific physical quantity. Let's look at this map. What you see here is a region of space, more specifically a surface, for which each point is associated with a number. That number is temperature in Celsius. What we are seeing here is a temperature field. Every time you are watching a weather forecast, you are actually consulting some data from a field. Of course, this is a two-dimensional field for which the values correspond to the temperature at ground level. You can easily imagine the same thing in three dimensions, where the higher you get, the colder it becomes. What would be the temperature where my finger is? 20 degrees? Closer to my face. 22? And what about just under my chin? 25? Yes, the heat of my body has a direct effect on the temperature field around me. In meteorology, one could think about a field where each point of the atmosphere is associated with a pressure expressed in pascals or millibar. That would be a pressure field. One could imagine also a humidity field where each point would be associated with a percentage of water vapor in the air. In oceanography, one could consider a volume of ocean and assign to each point of this volume a value, like acidity or salinity, or whatever parameter scientists in this area deal with. All these fields have in common to be scalar fields. That means that the specific physical quantity associated with each point can be represented by a number, also known as a scalar. That's for scalar fields. Now, let's look at this one that you can see in any weather forecast. To every point of this region is associated the speed of the wind and also its direction. A quantity that groups a magnitude and a direction is a vector. Here, in this field, each point is associated with a vector. Therefore, the wind field is a vector field. In oceanography, you could easily imagine a vector associated with each point of a volume of ocean, which would correspond to the speed and direction of water currents. This water current field would be a vector field. Another one, electric fields. In an electric field, each point is associated with the magnitude and the direction of a force that would experience a charge of one coulomb placed at that point. A force is a vector, therefore an electric field is a vector field. Another vector field that we will look at in detail in the next videos is the gravitational field. A gravitational field is a region of space where each point is associated with the magnitude and the direction of the gravitational force that is exerted on a mass of one kilogram placed at that point.